There are three ways to add items to your inventory. Remember, the inventories are both templates to be copied and used over again and working inventories to count your products into. You make an inventory once and then copy and adapt it to use it over and over again. Adding items item by item can be done by clicking the yellow button here and filling out this form. Most of this is covered in another tutorial. There are two ways to add multiple items. First, click the Import Inventory button. At the bottom of this page is a template which you can use to cut and paste your data, which may be contained in an Excel spreadsheet used from your previous inventory system or perhaps from a vendor's order guide. You can paste things in rows from side to side or in columns. However you like, each item must have a name, a unit, a vendor, and a category. Units must match the units in ChefSheet, so if your existing data uses pounds, spelled perhaps P-O-U-N-D-S, and not the abbreviation for pounds, LBS, as ChefSheet does, you will need to change these. All the ChefSheet units can be seen by clicking the arrow and seeing the pull-down in the unit section. The room, vendor, and category fields will either be created new if your vendor, category, or room does not exist, or if one already exists by the same name, will be matched and used. For example, if you've already used the room bar, and then the room bar is mentioned in the template, those items will be added to the room bar. If you have not used the room bar 2, a bar 2 room will be created, and you'll see that with all your inventories. You can add as many as a thousand items at one time using this form. If you're not ready to add all of your items at once, don't worry. Every time you use an import, it'll be added to that existing inventory. So if you add 100 items now and 100 items tomorrow, your inventory will have 200 items in it when you're done with the second round of importing. Items not assigned to a room will be placed in the No Room, which is like a room, but without a name. Since ChefSheet Mobile for Android, iPhone, and iPad available in Google Play and the Apple Store lets you count items room to room, it's best to place all of your items in the rooms now. If an item needs to be in two rooms, you can either add it twice in two different rows here, or you can use the copy feature within the inventory room. Here we have a vendor order guide as seen in Excel. We would start by copying all the item names and pasting those into the name field. We then just continue to fill out this form, taking next the item prices. Again, the units must match chef sheet units. You may want to use the copy and paste feature built into your browser to speed up adding things like vendors and categories. You can copy and paste units as well as long as they match existing chef sheet units. Notice that the details for the item must line up in the row. When you're ready, click the import template button. Now I will show you how to do pretty much the same process in Excel on your own computer by downloading the template. Choose a template for your computer. Windows or Mac. Open the template into Excel or another spreadsheet program. Notice the format of the template. Here you can enter the name of the item. In this column, if you wish, you can enter an initial count. Here you enter the unit. Unit used in your import must match units in ChefSheet. You can use the drop down menu for each column to choose a unit or you can copy and paste from the unit tab of the spreadsheet. You do not need to set the drop-down for every item. You can copy and paste. The only requirement is that the unit name be identical to the chef sheet unit names. Here you set the room name of your item. If you use a room name that exists in your chef sheet, your item will be placed in that room. If the room name is new, a new room will be created. To count an item into multiple rooms, you can add it multiple times, multiple lines of the same item with different room names, or you can copy the item or the room using the copy room function that we saw earlier. Here you set the price of the item, here you can set the par, here you set the vendor, and the category to the right. Note that the green columns are required. The import will not complete without all of the green columns being filled in. The white columns are optional. These fields you can enter at a later time. There are instructions of how to do this in tab 1 of the spreadsheet.
The quickest way to import your data is to copy and paste big chunks from your existing spreadsheets. This process only has to be done once per department, probably will take about half an hour. Once you have all of your food, liquor, wine, and supplies in ChefSheet, they will always be there, and this will never have to be done again. Take your existing inventory, or whatever format you have, and just begin to copy. I'm going to begin by copying the selection of categories. You can copy and paste in any order you wish. You can copy all of the data at once or copy in small chunks. You may find it simpler to do this in smaller chunks. I will copy the purchase prices because I have them, although the price is not required. The appearance of the fonts and the text size does not matter, only that the data lines up horizontally to the item and vertically to the information in the sheet. To set the units, I could either change the units in my original spreadsheet to be exact matches to the chef sheet units, or I can change the units in the template after I've pasted the rest of the data, which is what I'll do here. Once you have your chef sheet units typed or selected in your template, use your spreadsheet's copy and paste functions to duplicate the text throughout your import template. Note that the order of items does not matter. You can sort your items into the order you wish in each room after the import. If supported by your spreadsheet program, use the drop-down menu to select chef sheet units. Otherwise, find the units in tab 3 and copy and paste. We can set the rooms during the import process if we wish. Here I'll leave the rooms blank and set them after the import. Now we're ready to import our template into ChefSheet. Select Save As and choose the CSV, comma separated value format. There may be more than one CSV type. Choose the most general you can see. Save the file somewhere you can find it easily later. Excel will prompt two questions when saving a CSV. Choose OK and Yes. Return to ChefSheet and click the Choose File button, locating your template, and click the blue Upload File button. You can now see the inventory with your list of inventories. Click the inventory name, and you can see the items that you imported. You can now use your Edit function to change an item's room, or the Copy Inventory Room function to move large amounts of items from one room to another. You can move all of the items from the no room into one room, uncheck and select the various items you want to move, and if you need to move an item into duplicate rooms, simply repeat this step from the new room and copy it into the duplicate room. You can use the import function to create a brand new inventory or to add items to an existing inventory. To add items to an existing inventory, simply enter the inventory, click the import inventory function, and repeat the steps from before. There is another tutorial that will show how to add items without importing one by one, as well as a tutorial on general functions and features, how to use the mobile app, and reporting.